Good evening, this is the Radio Prepper at radiopreppers.com. Tonight we are going to review the RM100 antenna analyzer. It's also known as the uh, SARC100, SARK100 or the uh, Mini 60. Now most analyzers usually cost about uh, $300 to uh, $1000. I didn't want to spend that much, uh, certainly not a thousand, maybe I would have spent three, three fifty, but I found this cheap, uh, about $55, $60 Chinese uh, model, which is pretty cheap. So let's turn it on. Now it's very important to uh, measure your uh, SWR um, standing wave ratio to determine the ideal length of your antenna. Uh, because of course uh, the problem is if that ratio is too high that will um, uh, blow up it might blow up your uh, final transistors so here you can see that uh, I am on the 20 meter amateur band the analyzer is connected to a 135 foot Wyndham antenna I recently cut about a foot uh, of the antenna apparently that wasn't enough because I still have a little bit of uh, high SWR on uh, 14100. Uh, I'm going to go lower because I'm mostly interested in the uh, Morse code CW part of the band. Mm, it's still a bit high, so I might have to shorten the antenna further. Uh, so you see how useful this uh, little gizmo is. It's a little bit faster to use than uh, an SWR meter in uh, manual mode here. Uh, of course, the big advantage is that you can use it to scan the entire HF band uh, to find uh, the sweet spot, basically, uh, the uh, resonance of your antenna. Uh, the best way to do so is, of course, by using a computer uh, with the associated software. So, uh, I'll just show you how to uh, switch bands here. Oh, okay, we have different options, uh, impedance. Capacitance, inductance, of uh, an SWR. You can switch bands. Uh, oh, it's uh, well here. It's switched to 17 meter, 15 meter. Still a bit of a high SWR. Let's see. Uh, 10, 8. It does goes up to 6 meter, uh, 60 megahertz maximum. 80 meter, let's see. 3.7, uh, that's high, but that's, uh, that's very high in the band. So um, 3.56 would be, okay, 2 point, hmm, it's higher than before, that's uh, unusual. So I still have to uh, tweak my antenna, uh, apparently, 40 meter. It was very good before, 7030, 1 1.5 to 1, it's not bad, but now let's uh, plug it in the computer and see really uh, where that uh, analyzer shines. All right, so here is the software uh, used for uh, the MR100 analyzer. Earlier I said RM100, it's MR100. Uh, here I have to give credit to uh, Bravo Golf 2 Juliet Sierra X-Ray for designing the program. I will attach it to uh, the thread on radioprepers.com uh, reviewing this uh, analyzer. So uh, I will turn on whoops, the analyzer here. Okay, so configuration, PC link, I press the down button, waiting link, now I will go up here and try COM1, I'm not sure which uh, COM port it's, it's on, uh, of course it's not going to be 1, 2, okay, um,
three. Something's happening. On, okay, it's connected. It was COM3. Now we can put that aside. Concentrate on the screen. All right, so I'm going to do a scan of the whole um, HF band. Center frequency, so let's say uh, if we take 30 megahertz minus uh, 3, 27, uh, divide uh, that by 2, um, that's 13.5 plus 3, 17.5. Oh, kilohertz. Okay, so seventeen five hundred. Now we change the step. I want a point every, uh, say, um, one kilohertz. Oh no, that's the scan width. So the width will be actually twenty seven megahertz and the step is uh, here we have 10 kilohertz um yeah let's do 10 kilohertz and we start a scan okay the swr is uh, the red line apparently i messed up my uh, Oh no, it's starting at 3.5, so uh, we can see there is a dip there. Now it's going way back up above 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, goes back down. Now there should be another dip around 7 megahertz. I think that's where it is now. Yep, right before actually uh, it looks like. Now this analyzer of course is a cheap uh, model, um, I wouldn't take it outside when it's raining or anything like that, but you know, uh, maybe in a Ziploc bag or a little case, uh, it would be uh, very useful in the field. Uh, I'm sure it won't uh, take any kind of weather, but uh, hmm, it's cheap, I didn't pay much for it, so. My other option was to build one using an Arduino and uh, uh, a DDS module, but uh, it was going to cost about the same, so I, I didn't bother. I just bought this one and that's it. Okay, so you see how it works. I don't have to go through the whole uh, HF band, but uh, we clearly see uh, where the dips are. There's some weird... Uh, Huh. I'm going to stop this one because uh, we don't have all the time in the world. I'm going to uh, click on here the 40 meter band. Oops, I click on stop, but I guess it doesn't want to. Okay, I did the 40 meter scan. Um, I'm going to do it again to show you. Okay, it goes down 2.5, 2 at 6.9, just about 7 is uh, 1.5, going down to uh, 7.3 megahertz and up, and uh, that's it. So it's pretty decent between uh, 6.9 megahertz and uh, 7.5 megahertz. So uh, we can even use um, 1.5 between uh, 7.05 and 7400 let's do 80 meter start scan pretty low oh it goes back up at 3.6 oh my 3.8 is the maximum anyway for me so 
so it's uh, yeah it's uh, the resonance it's at about 3.5 megahertz so actually that's yeah that's pretty good uh, then it goes up um, 2.0 is at about 3.7 megahertz so there it is guys um, the MR100 analyzer I really like it uh, especially the price <laughs> um, there's no case if I was to buy another one I probably would get one with the case like the uh, SAC 100 uh, there is a new one that came out the SAC 110 which is up to uh, I think 230 um, oops 230 um, megahertz but uh, it's a little bit pricey I think it's around 350 so I wouldn't buy a cheap Chinese well everything is made in China now but uh, I would be very uh, careful about getting uh, customer service on something I bought for uh, anything more than a hundred dollars so but sixty dollars uh, you know yeah I can afford to lose that if it didn't work but I'm pretty happy with it and it's uh, it works pretty well so that's it uh, please visit uh, radioprappers.com till next time